Yeah. Damn, I was trying to do the time of the music. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm Black Cat. I do dungeon crawlers, Path of Exile content mainly. Lots of Pal World. Soon we're going to be doing seven days. What else do we do? Oh god, what else do I play? What do I do with my life? No, I don't know. Lots of stuff planned for today, though. Well. That's usually where I stand. The last time we left off, I had like 1% XP because I died and lost over 100 million XP to the Searing Exarch because I am bad at the game. <laughs> well, that's a thing, but I managed to build back up the XP and now we can do the Eater of Worlds and see if we lose it all. No, I'm kidding. We're not. We're not doing that. I. I would. I would cry if I lost all this XP after getting to ninety three percent. Now we're gonna do a bit of uh, random shit, and then we're going to do a Katarina to finish off the level. But before we do so. Swapped out my old gloves to some new ones. Bit more health, bit more chaos res, more stats. Same boots, same most everything. Uh, I did make one change, though, I believe, besides this. I'm now using life tap on flame dash and flame ability. It's just way more reliable than having to use mana for things, because I'm always low on mana. I think that's the majority of what I've done. I feel like there's way more and I just can't think of it. Oh, yes! I heavily tattooed my uh, passive tree. So, now I have a bunch of uh, freeze and chill avoidance passives. So, I, ha I have a 60% chance to avoid being chilled, and a 100% chance to avoid being frozen. I now have this jewel. Gives me some energy shield and life and so on. It also gives me cold damage to, to spells, which isn't doesn't sound very important, but that is what is going to give me a chance to freeze things. I had chance to or I have a chance to freeze on here, but I'm gonna replace that with something else. Not 100 percent sure what yet, but I'll figure it out. Hi Ron. And I added a bunch of uh chaos res tattoos as well to my passive tree. And now sitting at a whopping 13% chaos risk. <laughs> Still not amazing, but like, it's not negative. Nice. I mean, a lot of the builds I run, a lot of the builds I have run are like negative 50, so having 13, positive 13 is pretty good for me. But, uh, one of the reasons why I've been picking up the, uh, ant the Void Freeze stuff is because. Because, I press the right button, I want to swap out uh, Soul of the Brian King for Soul of Solaris. Actually, I can just do that right now. I'm more likely to get stunned now because I don't have uh, the uh, stun protection that's at the top. But I have ways to protect myself when stunned. With uh, my uh, cast when stunned on phase run and on uh, frost shield. But this will allow me to, uh, it'll give me a bit of physical damage reduction, which I don't have at all. It'll give me less area dam- or it'll take less area damage, which can be good in all pinnacle fights, really. Uh, if I haven't been hit recently, I take less elemental damage, which is great, because I usually don't get hit. And I take- I don't take any extra damage from critical strikes if I've taken your critical strike recently. I'm also going to take the avoid ailments from critical strikes eventually, which will just help me avoid getting chilled. That's really the only thing I have to worry about, seeing as I can't be frozen, ignited, shocked. I think that's just about everything. I've been going through and doing 
a lot of mapping stuff. I'm at 109 out of 115 points now. Yeah. And all I have left are a few just random unique maps, all of which I have collected and now have for us to do. Yay! I guess we can work on some of that stuff while, uh... Coward's Trial... So the hardest one first, the Vaults of the Sea. Also, I forgot to say, Hi, Ron, how are you? Title one. No. Get some of these done, and when we're close to leveling, then go to the Katarina. We also have a Maven's Invitation, and we have the Screaming Invitation, and we have a bunch of Div cards that we're going to be opening up later. There's a lot of stuff that we have to do today. Not have to do, but like a lot of stuff that we get to do. Yay, blowing up pots. Death to all pots. That scare a bounty. Looks like it's valuable. Is that valuable? It's not valuable. Why? Like, oh my god, you got this thing! It's worth an entire chaos. Oh, that actually is valuable. Pots! Okay. What's this? Don't open the small chests ever. Just not worth the time, I find. Death to pots, death to pots, death to pots. I never remember the name of this belt. Pain of Endurance. Oh, I struggle to remember it because it sucks! Right! <laughs> That's really bad. That's why I can never remember it. Because it is so atrociously bad, I would never use it. I don't think I could sacrifice enough in a build to want to use something bad. Yay, challenging map complete. Oh, no, I need. I guess I should actually... Wow, this actually would have been really good if it wasn't corrupted. <laughs> I, I swear, the corrupted... The fact that it just corrupts everything makes that map so awful. I hate any areas that automatically corrupt things. Really not good. I gotta get a little bit more XP before we go to the Katarina, because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get a full 7% from Katarina, so I want to make sure that I'm actually able to level before I get to her. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a unfortunate spot. That it will finally finish the Atlas. It's been one of the uh, things I've been looking for. Oh, I also, uh, I also got the uh, Harvest Craft for the 
increased elemental damage uh, for a percent of quality on my Divinarius, which is really nice. And I picked up a better version of one of my Divinarius, so I ended up with like another effectively like 70 to 90 percent uh, elemental damage. Really nice little pickup. Oh. The thing is, I don't want to get too close to this thing because it just teleports immediately. Otherwise. So I'm kind of trying to follow it with my minds instead and let it just like hit the edge of it with my minds. Yeah, as soon as I get close enough. Which is why I hate this boss with a passion. I don't know what the whole point is of a boss that just constantly is trying to avoid you. Oh, that's the play. You get close to it and you immediately attack on yourself. <laughs> that works. It teleports to you, so that is that's an interesting way to do that. Okay. Optimum that. I'm heading down to uh, Shrines, grant a random extra Shrine effect. Three more points for that. Points? Yeah, I'll have three more. Okay. Okay, future cloister. Map, best maps for divination card. Really drops a lot of divination card. No reason I keep wanting to call them divine cards. Never done that. Not right, and I don't know why my brain would be trying to correct to that. That makes sense. One of the most dangerous parts of this is like how many curses it puts on you. But that doesn't tend to be a big issue if all the curses are meant to reduce your uh brain. It reduce your resistances. I don't think I don't think your physical damage reduction can go into the negatives. No, it can't. So the only thing here that I actually uh, am in danger of is the spare, which has brought my chaos res down fifteen. I don't know how much chaos damage there actually is from the Indians, though, because there's Solaris and Lunaris Templar, Templar, Solaris and Lunaris Temple creature, mainly Solaris. So. It's either fire or physical, I think, for them, mostly. I think dark. Fully revealed loop. I don't know. Wait, the, no, those aren't Solaris. Those are Lunaris. There's the, whip, there's the whipping abominations, which I know are... Yes, and there's these, the ones that fire spines. Yes. The main, yeah, the main Solaris stuff is... That's being fire-based, usually like... Or Assault Ribbon, which continue to be an extremely funny concept to me. Nothing... Nothing is less terrifying than a ribbon. You shall be assaulted by this cloth. You'll have attack handkerchiefs. Like, oh no. Oh no. 
I... I am overwhelmed. Not with fear, just with confusion. I like King Stack decks. Oh, there's actually a really, really, really cool new Path of Exile tool. I would love to show off. I'm sure most people have already heard about it because it's made by one of the, uh, or made or managed by one of the top streamers. But we'll talk about that later because it is really, really nice and it helps price stuff on mass really quickly. And also sell stuff on mass really quickly. It's meant for bulk sales and yeah, bulk, bulk buying and selling. Done. Okay. Audrey? Am I confused? Maybe. And treasure, change that bind. Bad. I am not going to price any of this. Because I can just fill the price for me. I would much prefer that. So I do want to check what we get from a couple. We'll get the stack deck soon. Let's see what corruptions we get on the story on these. Not what you're looking for. Oh, okay. So I don't like the corruption. Corruption's bad. The unarmed melee hits. Near max roll. Its minimum roll is well rolled. Its maximum roll is moderately rolled. Spell one is max rolled. And max rolled and average roll. But the added maximum energy shield right there is plus 100 out of 80 to 100. That's really good. Yeah, the temporal chains aren't going to matter in basically any way or form. But perfect energy shield one. Worth exactly nothing. Okay, let's try unarmed melee hits. Main thing. Really? Well, it's not. You'll gain on killing a shocked enemy with energy shield, maybe? Back damage. Probably makes it worth something. Okay, well, let's... I'll, I'll put it away somewhere. I don't know what it's going to be worth. I'll try it at 50 and see what happens. But I ideally, you would want elemental weakness on hit, or enfeeble on hit, or just anything else, really. Maximum energy shield... Attack crit? That would be amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh, an intuitive leap. These are valuable, aren't they? 25 chaos? Yeah, that's pretty valuable. Passers and radius can be allocated without connecting, being connected to your... Chaos. I put this here. Put this here, I could get 
Heart Seeker without having to pick the other stuff, but the other stuff is also good, so that's kind of pointless. What about up here? Hmm. So... This would have the benefit of being able to take resourcefulness without having to use point there. And I could take frenetic without you having to use the two points worth. It honestly might be. I'll have to take a moment to look at it a bit more later. But I think that might be worth it, because that is effectively what a dual socket is worth. I'm not really gaining anything. I mean, if I have to move a jewel that I'm going to, that I've already been using somewhere else, it's not that big a benefit. If I already had to pay two points just to put that jewel somewhere. Rusty, can I? Yeah. I can't remove this if I want the mastery, and I only want this for the mastery. I can't remove, I don't want to remove these even if I did want to, yeah. even if I was able to. Not, not really the best spot to put anything. Yeah, I don't think intuitive leap is good for me. Fortunate. Oh well. Honey. Now I'll turn it into something in my bank. There. Uh, Opus Curse Trial. I'm not likely to die in either. Maybe it becomes fatal after something. I don't remember. I don't remember what how this one. I feel like I haven't done it in a long time. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so just go through, clear the area, the whole level. Just full clear. Go to the next level and. Full Player, go to the next level and full five times. Okay, well, careful. The essence booster that has hopped up on multiple weak essences. Ow. Okay, and open. Open. I like full clearing things, but I don't like this map. Because it has all these nooks and crannies you need to go into, basically. And that makes full clearing less fun. Because there's like a lot of backtracking. I hate games that require backtracking. For any any reason. I don't I don't want to backtrack. I go somewhere, it's because I want to go there. You might argue that Path of Exile does backtracking with the fact that you're going through the same area thematically. Uh, 
second part is the first, but the area is different. It, like it's been, I, it's been changed, so that doesn't really count to me. I tend to have like a memory. I tend to have a really weird memory. I can remember some stuff really well and other things terribly. And with a lot of media, for whatever reason, I can remember a lot of it perfectly. Which means that it gets really boring for me because there, nothing feels new. Ever. Really. Once I've gone through it once or twice, it's often enough for it to like be burned into my consciousness for a while. And usually the way I deal with that is I just wait quite a while between in, like watching things or, or like replaying things. Oddly enough, it doesn't bother me having mapping, which is essentially going that you went pain. Because I guess because they're slightly different every time, slightly different difficulty levels modifiers all these extra fun things in like master missions thanks i don't know i don't know why that doesn't really they all rights it should it doesn't For my own. I am on the right. But these are level 86. I item level 86 items. Why they're popping out. Right. Level 88. Oh, actually, I don't think that matters. I don't think item level matters past 80. Why? Why is that? Why is my loot filter excited? A hundred percent base percent L, but like that's not. That shouldn't be worth really. I don't know my. My price checker says it's worth three chaos at most. So I don't know what's going on there. Other I'll find the rest. I guess this is going in here. The item. Nothing. Neither of these really matter yet. This will pick shrine buffs. We have 3% more XP to go. Is Katarina enough to do that? I'm going to say she is. Because, I mean, it's a 200% uh, 
X increased XP area. I would expect to get at least 5%. For each of these. I just don't want to get to the end at 99% and be like, should I go fight Katarina with 99% and a 99.5% XP or what? That sounds dangerous. I should actually bother to use this. That would probably be smart. I think if she goes down fast enough anyway, I don't know how much it actually matters. I don't know if it was between, I think it was actually between this last time and now, I got the Volblade Vortex with Culling Strike on it. Place my Vol Righteous Fire that I wasn't really So oh, we have Culling Strike again. Nice. Probably use that in this fight. I didn't realize it had two charges as well, which is... That means that if you throw up and, uh, like, activate it, but it's not at exact... It's not down to exactly 10% or less, it's at, like, 12%, and you having to die or something, you still can... You'll still have the charge. Oh, I hit 95. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yay, 95. Damn it, big girl. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, I guess I'll max some more. Very easy thing to pick. Oh, I must have some sort of headhunter benefit. That's why I'm at 5,000 life. Does it go counterclockwise? Haku on as Riker? Makes sense to me. No, you are not. Fire. No fire coming. Ah. All of you need to go away now. Counterclockwise, or is it just random when the when like which row gets released? Nope. No, you don't. I think it's just random which row gets released, because it just went northwest, east, south. It didn't go clockwise or counterclockwise, so... A bit confused. A pre, don't slam me. Not playing Smasher Pass. Also, that's not what Smash is supposed to make. <laughs> okay, break the last area, bottom. Okay. And now, idle thing. By standing there.
No, we're not doing that. Okay, stop that. I don't think I put my my ball play vortex out at the right time. I don't think I needed to, honestly. Like, I think I killed her before it could even take effect. Chaos? What? Yes! Failed chaos! <laughs> so lucky this league! Oh my god, it's 16 div now! <laughs> I have killed Katarina, I think, seven times now, and I've gotten four veiled chaos. Nine for the first one. Well, for the second and third one, this one's 16, so. 9, 21, 33, 49 dip from just Katarina from Veiled Orbs. Oh, thank you, Katarina. You are. You truly make me happy. And this is why I like Syndicate's, uh, what is this? Hell. Enemy hit, when enemy hit deals elemental damage to you, their resistance to those elements becomes zero for four seconds. Luck damage to me. So if you get hit by something, it, they take reflected damage. And they be so basically it reduces their all their resistances to zero, all their elemental resistances. I can see that'd be useful, especially if you're doing like a non evasion, like your armor build. Hmm, yeah, no, that's cool not familiar with this like i don't think i've seen this one before this that must have been added in one of the recent that's cool another one for my collection i'm trying to collect all of the uh uniques in the game on standard or not non in uh standard mode so after every egg i take the new i've gone and stick them in my collection uh, reforge the sockets on an item 50 can using the greatest number of linked socket. Links between sockets, not number of sockets. Okay, I was reading that wrong. Oh, amazing. Well, I'll see about adding more sockets to this, and then I'll do, I'll try the linking for on. And cooler. Since chains can be quite valuable, potentially. Especially if you leave them. Hold it. Not war. Harbinger bosses. So the H and Harbinger. Arrows, man. I like to order. I like to order my map with uh, extra essences, no break. This one, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you, you are Katarina Vale. I You know, I want that separate. Hard to remember. Having a 
having a table. Don't know. We'll try for nine. How's that? Okay. Oh, I have yet to actually use this uh, new mechanic. This is so nice. Not having to click at all. Oh, that's quick. F four and two. This got me a Katarina pre. Not sure what that. Is. Unfortunately, the unveiled modifier magnitude is at six, six out of six. That went badly. In. Middling would be 75. So that's not good. Let's go back. Finish. Or at. Wait, I'm not leveling my... I'm not leveling my... Reason why I'm not doing that. It has no mana costing as I'm using the Vol version. Nothing should be changing. Uh, which means I should probably just level it anyways. Because if I get a 2020 Vol Blade Vortex, I can sell it. Yeah, just opening the path of this. Yeah, my notes are suggesting I should just I will to I should actually do that. Okay, what's left? We have two more things to do before we finish our atlas. They are Coward's Trial and Death and Death. Death on Taxes is the annoying. I'll do that first. And for some reason, I usually finish my Atlas on the Coward's Trial for whatever reason. Maybe because it's usually a more expensive. I expect to see you. Oh, it's such a long. Okay. Fight you initially, is it? Allegars. Ow. Ow. Cut that. I prefer it doesn't hit. Fuck no. Oh, not that one. 
Oh, this was the end of it. Okay, I wasn't paying enough attention, apparently. Oh, that felt like a much shorter run on the way back than the way... Radicator map? Radicator map. Albums. Usually I try to keep I try to treat the coward's trial with some care because there's a lot of rare monsters, but seeing as this league, I got a headhunter before I finished my atlas. Uh, yeah, that's not really a concern. Okay, well, I... Oh, I... I have Soul Eater. And Ambush, so I'm just going to attack on my spot and whatever happens happens. And close my eyes and I'm just going to start kicking... And if you happen to get in the way, it's your fault. And I need to actually watch this. been so long. This is really, really a travesty. I have so many auras and shit. I have 5,000 life and 5,000 energy shield. Oh, ambush is over. I don't need a twizel. Darkness looms forebodingly. My character is way too large for me to care about things like that. Oh, I'm back to ambushing. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'm here now. Lots of gem level. <laughs> it's so ridiculous when you have a headhunter. I've never tried this with a headhunter before. I mean, I've barely ever had the chance to have a headhunter before. I think I've got a headhunter in... Two leagues? One, I don't think I got the chance to really use it. And the other one... I got it for a character that I ended up not really being able to use much after the fact. I was trying to make a uh, corrupted blood. Uh, trying to make a corrupted blood uh, build uh, with shattering steel. A way back when, and I was not nearly as good at the game, and it was a low life build, and it was like the league that shattering that the steel skills were introduced. And basically, the character, even like with the headhunter benefiting it, it just wasn't strong enough to withstand like being able to build up the stacks. Like it just was dying before it could do anything. So it kind of, I didn't really get to use the headhunter very much. And like the next build I used, I made after that, just I couldn't give up the bell slot, putting me in kind of an awkward spot. I'll stand on where the boss is supposed to 
some point, I'm probably going to get ambushed again. So, I'll just wait till I get ambush. I want to think if there's anything left before I reach, like, the full build for the Uber version of Oh, right, my, um, my Pyroclast Mines of Sabotage, I don't have a level 21 version yet, so there is that. I think that's, like, the only thing left I have to do, and that's purely just because I haven't been... I guess that finished. There, we finished the Atlas. Yay! I'd love to have drawn to power. I should need to axe at that point somewhere. I guess one of the easy things would be to remove the box. I could unblock rich. Thing is, it tends to spawn a lot of rare. But Ultimatum also spawns a lot of rares, but I have the downside of it. You need to be resistant to a lot of things, and uh, it doesn't. <laughs> I would want to be this. I would want to be immune to corrupted blood, and ideally to chaos damage to do ultimatum. That's that would be the best for. Me. I could also do breach. Breaches. Oh, I'm gonna go for breach. Breaches are unblocked. Take this. I cut out. I could. But the problem with that is that I lose a chance on Nico, which means I have less packed with energy. So I'll be. I'll move up to 45% slower. Packed with energy is way too powerful for me to skip out on like that. Other leader, I want conditional rank, I want that, and that's I want to. That. Honestly, this might be my final passive tree. This makes the most sense. Okay, what do you have for me, Kirok? A uh, 10 random scarabs. the scarabs and then we will do the 30 div cards for the challenge i've done a couple of the challenges off just because they're boring as shit peddler's produce for example like you don't need to see me crafting a hybrid flask I did one i did one kind of like that Oh, it's not ten of one, it's ten different ones. Okay. Cool. None of them are like crazy, but all of them are that just like a Is that like a uh tamed uh Than like starlight from Shaper. The Elder Essence. 
I recognize that. I think that's one of the Delve bombs. Whatever the hell this is. Looks like looks like a star a star you. <laughs> eh, whatever. Okay. Back we go. Left, left, left. Okay. Oh, good. We need another device. Doris. We got the uh, Soul of Rislatha while one a while ago, and I just picked up the Abrath one for winter round. So the only thing else I need is Doris. Is your I'm the big blue guy, and part of me wants to say Promenade, but that has the that's the double. Temple. Oh. I have a lower level one. Temple. Temple, temple. Okay, no. There. Let's go get our last. Ass? Go we'll get our last thingy. Um, thing. How do you remember? Makes me wonder if the wow that whatever that was just left my brain instantly. Not very. Sure, what can you? I have far too much money to be stingy about what will probably be like 9 chaos. I just got a. I just got a uh, sixteen. I don't think I'm gonna NC. <laughs> Besides, they're probably an or they're just like struggling to get their build together. It totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to sell the, the Veiled Orb for 16 div. I'm sure I will not miss the 10c. <laughs> uh. hmm? Mm -hmm. Very sexy. Very, very, very sexy. I have 26 days now. Okay, I'm pretty happy about that.
Okay. Yeah, if you're if you're newish to the game, uh, or like you're just really really struggling with your build, sometimes it is worth it to just be like, "Hey, can you do a little bit less money?" Because a lot of time people will be okay with that. I've definitely had times where like I was much newer to the game and needed. As long as you don't have, like, a shit ton of money and are just abusing it to be, like, I have so little money while you're just sitting there on the top of, like... That would be scummy. I don't think any of any of my community would do that. Other grade. What the heck did I do? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All Flight Emperor manifested well. I would love okay, how much are the manifested wealth right to give yeah that's <laughs> that's way more than good enough wait I was added by Okay. I think I, I was like, wait, was I added by the person who bought the Veiled Orb? Because that would make less sense to me. <laughs> Couple open. Anarchy Scarab, Anarchy, Anarchy Scarab, Anarchy Scarab of Partnership. Oh, I need to try the uh, Anarchy Scarabs of Gigantification. Still haven't tried them. I want to see what a rogue giant looks like. Ooh. Ooh, that was a covetous shrine. Increased item quant. And rarity, I think. Oh, no. Oh no, this is the wrong time to have ambush. This might get very awkward, actually. I'm not going to be able to go where I want to go. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to attack on myself then. Whatever happens, happens. Are my ball blade vortexes teleporting with me? Don't teleport me back into what I just teleported away from. Fucking ambush. Hmm. I think I'd like some corrupted weapons. I don't think there's anything like for corrupted unique weapons that would actually be like I mean, there is the uh, Dorianus Fist one uh, thing that uh, I just opened. It. That one. I don't think if there's like, oh, you can get a corrupted. Uh... Oh, what is that? What is that sword that? Comes drops from the elder that everyone wants forever because it's like one to six hundred damage or something. Ford. Echo Ford? Not Echo Ford. I think it's Echo Ford. Echo Ford is 
Echo Horde is one of them. I don't think that one's Echo Horde. Void Forge? I think that's Void Forge. So many names. I didn't even realize that there was other forges besides uh, the... Uh, well, I assume it's Void Forge. I didn't realize there was other things besides Void Forge, like his Echo Forge. Another one, too, that I cannot finger on. Wait, is it... Oh, it's Corrupted Unique Item! Oh my gosh, okay, there's tons of Corrupted uh, Unique Rings and uh, Jewels that I you totally get. Those are great. Uh, I think, but don't know. Okay, are you ten percent of the way to ninety six? <laughs> That's too much XP. We'll have to go risk it now. Uh. Crit modifiers, are you worth anything? Distance modifiers, you are. Have the increased chance of res I don't know if scarcer helps though. Okay, do I want to sell the Manifested Wealth, or do I want to try the Manifested Wealth? I might try the Manifested Wealth instead. Put that there for now. Sure. Okay, before we get too far into actually having XP, let's, let's deal with this. Can I... Hey, can I upgrade? That way, that's there. And how does this work? Ah, okay. Okay, so you can upgrade. Okay. Sure. Try that. That's not what I meant to. Do. That is good to have. Got to do that. Okay. Crucible. Uh, a lot of them will be over here. Okay, gotta get some down. Down, two down. Fuck off Lunaris. Way Living Ice, and whatever you are. Daku, you're great, but you're going away. That could know who you are. Oh, you're the annoying one. From that random I'm gonna think of the map. And you're Solaris Lieutenant. Who the hell are you? Oh. Oh, I know which one you are. And you're from the, f the weird cave thing. Ooh! Crescent Splinter! Oh, uh, 12C. Oh, I got, I got a point from that. Oh, goodbye again, Breach. <laughs> you were getting executed. <laughs> Okay, what's left? Uh, we still have Screaming Invitation, and we have our stack decks. I'm going to open uh, 30 now, and I'm going to open whatever, whatever number of stack decks we have left here at the end of the stream.
is a big that's that's not the that's not the gem. Jonas token's valuable. Any six link ones are and Nemesis items can be a that valuable. Portal fragments I can be valuable. Bodies, nice hoarders. And four gaze replica item. That actually might. Nah, five or C. I'll just. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering which new one appeared. Yeah, no, that's not. I mean, most of the time when you open stack decks, they're not exciting, but. Eh. Gotta try. Sometimes they'll be cool, sometimes they won't be. Okay, let's see if I can do the Eater of Worlds without dying this time. That I would really appreciate, because. I don't want to die. Okay, Eater of Worlds. I'm going to show you how to fight the Eater of Worlds, or I'm going to show you how to not to fight the Eater of Worlds. One of the two will happen. It's going to not try to damage race it like I did last time with uh, the X-Arch, and I'll be good. Man, you really, really don't get around right to activate these things before it gets me. No! Shit! Oh no, it's so going to explode, and I don't think I have enough time to do it. Yep. That is, that is the phase that gets me. I think... I'm just not fast enough, I don't think that I just need to be faster with it. Because as soon as we get to the damage phases, it's literally just don't stand in one spot for too long, and then you're fine. And goodbye. Oh! That's not Ludrich Eagle. Cool. That's a forbidden flesh. Oh, I got a lot of good stuff here. What did we get? Okay, we got the inextricable fate, which max rolled life. And almost max rolled critical strike, uh, reduced critical strike damage. That's really nice. That, yeah, that actually broke really well. Move the ex exceptional Eldritch Ichor. Which roll, which costs about 80 C. Got our Void Stone. And finally, the most valuable of them all. Did we get a valuable Forbidden Flesh? This will be worth somewhere between 1 C and 1 Mirror. First strike, last to fall. Ooh, that's the adrenaline one from Champion. That's from Yeah, that that's that's Champ Champion from Duelist. How valuable are you? You are a div and a head. Yeah. Okay, so I basically got like two div worth of stuff and my void stone. That is very nice. Seriously though, I need to get way, way, way better at this, I need to get way better at those two because those were the tutorial ones. So those were like easier than than average. So I need to I need to step my game up because I I'm not good at either of those fights. Uh, 
Ow. Damage inflicts poison against enemies affected by at least three grasping vines. I know that you could probably mix this with the one that uh, there's a small cluster jewel that gives you a notable that gives you grasping vine so long as you're standing still and you get damage reduction based on them. So this would kind of scale with that. Kind of. Because this would be giving you more grasping vines and that would also be giving you more grasping vines. But you'd get more of a benefit from them. Okay, well, you'll go into my to my, my box. But yeah. Put your way into the collection. And um is perhaps do I have any favorite I want to oh. actually besides like a few ones that are I like park but I've I've done park, right? That would be silly if I did not pick park up. I could pick glacier, but glacier I've done 20 billion times. Fashion wood. Hey. So, we took care of the Screaming Invitation, we took care of Katarina. Of the Maven's invitation, and you at some point want to try the otherworldly scouting report because I got one that gives you a bridgestone apparently, so that's nice. The only problem is that I oh, oh, I get another passive skill point, I didn't even notice that. The only problem is that I only have uh yellows right now, I don't have any. Beds. Rock. This point. Build items. Back to point fire. Modifiers. Transfer haunted monsters. Map to unresolved anguish. I believe unresolved anguish is what makes them turn to corpses. Um, honestly, I might go block lead because realistically, I don't, I don't have anything that buffs legion, so it's just mediocre at best. I think I have anything else I can. Pick up. That would be super Oh, I could just add, like, just flat beyond chance to all my maps. Not even consider that. Sure. Why not? I have no other anything put into that, but it's more bodies, and that is effectively more cool. Okay. I have a hundred percent delirious. First, we are going to go burn through the maps that I have. Everything. There are things. Actually, yeah, I can use the breach. I can use the breach thing, plus the four additional breaches there, plus, right, yeah, wants to drop more splinters, which is in each container. I'll give me six breaches.
Eight breach lords. Uh, uh. Wait, no. Ten breach lords. <laughs> like to do a map with ten breach lords. Wait, I have. Okay. If I'm going to go all in on this, I do have a tier 15 on a Barrows map. I have a Barrows map somewhere. That is sitting. Sitting somewhere. Has. Five breaches on. Ah, there it is. Also, this the right way. Hopefully, I won't die to breach lords. Oh, that would suck. Okay, let's do too many breach lords. See what happens. Want X arch? Sure. What could possibly go wrong with that? Post here. That tier can't be increased either, which sucks. Want more lesser shrines because we're going to be dealing with all. Yeah, so this should be 10 breach lords. Yeah. See, let's see how this one goes. Also, maybe clear out some other stuff around the breaches first. Okay, defense. Probably for. There's the breach. Up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is really lagging. <laughs> can I? I hope I can kill him. Okay, good. I was worried I wouldn't be able to kill him in time. Would have sucked. Damage race the breach lord. Uh, nope. There will be breach. Breach lords will be getting close to me, so I don't want that. Not boss. Ash divinate card that weapons. That there's there is the echo for or an echo for uh void for cards. So that. We're gonna take passive, penetrable, uh, and then Hi. <laughs> five thousand life and seven thousand energy shield. Hmm, it's all at all. I should be careful with this. Well, I guess maybe I don't I have a lot of a lot of defenses. <laughs> Maybe careful is not something I need to concern myself with. I just get and okay. did the other shrines go? The lesser shrines decay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! One of the sh lesser shrines disappeared. Dislike this. Okay, well, I have diamonds. 
this will go very quickly. Diamond and resistance. I like adding the Breach Rings, because they can actually be nice. Like, they're super good if you... If you're wearing them specifically because you're going into a, uh... Into a Breach Stone. That's... They're very good in that case. You just need to put them on at the right time. They only need half the stats of whatever the thing is they're replacing. So, like, be on par with it once they're in the... Once you're inside the actual breach, so. Okay. This before. Vacation people get bored and leave. Haku, goodbye, Haku. Elegance. I'm a very smart person. I see things appearing. Okay, the park boss must be. Where? I don't see them. Maybe I killed them. That would not surprise me. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably alive slash. Okay. Cash, Shrine, uh, activate three. Oh, it's to, to activate the Legion at the same time as the Breach, and that would have been stupid. <laughs> but let's not do the stupid. Okay, that's Ash down. Uh. I try to avoid doing the stupid, if I can. Sometimes do the stupid, sometimes the stupid does you. Genuinely don't know what that means. <laughs> One of those times where I just am like, I'll figure out what it means after I say it. It doesn't happen. Then we pretend that it never happened. Go on with our lives, probably. Ow. Up one that ring. Okay, why am I seeing... Why am I seeing legions? I thought I blocked legions. I was really nervous the Breach Lords at the start, and now I'm kind of just like, yeah, they're here. Especially because I now have Haku. Haku. I now have Huck with me. And I have all three levels of Sulfite Intoxication. That was Shayula I just killed. Like, huh, that's the spinny one. <laughs> the spinny breach lord, that's what I know him as, the spinny one. Or I guess I should say him, I should say him. I don't think it has a gem. Actually, I would love, I would really love to have, like, the... I guess it'd be... Oh. Whatever the uh, the study is of bugs, I'd love to have like the the study of breach lords and like how they actually reproduce and how their hive functions. 
Because if that Fled, who's one of the rogues for the Immortal Syndicate, is a minion of a Breach Lord, I assume is long dead. And he talks about missing the hive and like the hive mind and how quiet it is. The thoughts of everyone else. And I kinda wanna know what that's like. Like what's like what's what was the structure there? Like I assume that he was one of the workers. How were the workers produced is the thing? Do they reproduce like mammals? I would not think so, because I mean with a hive, I would assume that they function kind of like bees. Which is why I call them insects. Because like I genuinely think that kind of probably act like insects. And also the word hive makes me think insect. Because you know, hive. Actually, it might be fun one day to do a like a proper deep dive into the Harper Breach and see if I can learn basically everything possible about it and do a like a lore compilation video of how Breach works. Not how Breach works, but like canonically how the Breach Lords exist and what we know about their habitat. Why do they come to the breach? Next question. Wait, I forgot. I have a breach lord I had to fight. <laughs> let's let's actually kill the breach lord and not just like wander the fuck off because I'm speaking about things. Okay. Um it'd be cool to actually like analyze their habitat and find out why they come out. I assume, if I'm to understand correctly, the breaches are like tears in space, and the reason why they would come out is because, like, you're, like, ripping into the terror, and they're naturally attacking you like you would, like, hive, like a hive mind of, uh, insects would, because, like, you're in their hive. Of course, they're going to attack you. You're, you're in their territory, and they don't know that you're not there to kill them. And we are, in fact, there to kill them. So... Their response is not only rational, but rational, rational, but reasonable. I about to say rational and reasonable at the same time, it came out as rational. And if that flood has proved that they have, like, they can have feelings. Like, they, they feel things. It feels loneliness and sadness. It tends to be pretty primitive in its understanding, but, like, it's a fully-fledged adult creature. As far as I can tell. I don't know if it was, a, it was an adult when it was cleaved from the hive, but it is an adult at the moment, as far as I can tell. Cleaved as in, like, I say cleaved because he was separated from the hive mind. Or it was separated from the hive mind. So something cut through that connection. Somehow. Kind of sad. Oh, I am a door. I know I have Soul Eater, but hold on. I need to pick up this coffin. I have so many things to click on. Is 
there's probably going to be another breach inside the boss room if I were to get. Need to not walk out and, and forget to walk back in. <laughs> that is something I am more than capable of doing. Completely forgetting what. Oh gosh darn it! My <laughs> my locker's full. Uh. Okay, well you're going here for now. I will deal with you later. Yes, you are. And this too, I guess. See if there's any more breach lords. Well, and there are no more breach lords for us. I wasn't like counting or anything. Okay, shrine. Okay, and we're done. That's ten breach lords. I didn't actually pay attention to how many splinters I got. I really wish I did in retrospect. But I didn't have very many to begin with. I got a lot more than I did before. I mean, I got five splinters per Breach Lord. I only saw one that was Chiula. So I got 45 splinters across these other ones besides Chiula, uh, plus all the ones that were dropped by rares. Last hands. I'd love to actually finish off one of these because you have an enriched breach stone, breach stone bargain, and a, a pure breach stone bargain, which is really, really nice. Valuable, aren't they? Not in the slightest. Use inside the necropolis. Going in the corpse tab. Well, I figure out what to do with you. Okay. We have a lot more to do, but we are going to take a quick break. We're going to be coming back later to do some uh, stack decks and a bunch more stuff. Probably going to get another Katarina this stream, honestly, because we've got it down to kind of a science at this point. <laughs> okay, be back in about five minutes. Stretch, get a snack, get water, stay hydrated. It's very, very important. And I will see you all very soon.
And we're back. Hope everyone got a snack and such. Okay, what were we doing? We have stacked decks that we're going to go do. And we have the Manifested Wealth, but I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to sell it or use it. Depending on how... I'm going to do research before I use it, though, since it's... I don't mm. want to do that research on stream. It's probably going to be dry. At best. Let's do other random breach stuff. Summer's orbs with you. Oh yeah, I forgot. We need to get rid of some of our um we need to get rid of some of this. Uh, all of these are normal pack density. There isn't a single one that's different. Okay, so that does make it a noble haunted. Would have preferred to make it magistrate haunted if I could, but I don't think I can do that. Okay. What can I actually make out of this? Because, like, there's nothing here that really benefits any of this stuff here, specifically. You know what? I'll just run this map, and I'll try to find something. I'll try to find a better map. Like, I, don't, I want to use up the embers because I need to use up the embers because I need space, but I also don't want to waste the embers. That would just be... Shame. Or yep. Or create some relationships between them. It's always good because that means they're more likely to appear together, which means we're going to have. More rogues to interrogate or and or get items from. Yeah, wow. The uh year five feels awfully boring by comparison to everything we've done lately. But I want to do the uh, extra breach stuff, so followed. That was a poor choice. Yep, it. But neither of these are part of anyone. You over. Can I move you? Wait, I'm... Massive shrine, or defensive shrine, and... Penetrable. Unpenetrable. I like to use their actual names. That's a massive. I don't know if it matters much picking up the lesser shrines. I don't know if there's, like, any benefits to it, because I know there's stuff for, for using shrines in maps, but... Like challenges for it, but I don't know. Oh, a hand of thought in motion. The uh, Ash Breach Stone. Hand of thought in motion. Deck stacking one. Bye. Oh. I'm not a particular move. I'm trying to find something that fits.
Try D and B. Nom nom nom. Lots of things to find. I have to say, Atoll is not a good map for this. There's like almost no place for anything to spawn, and it doesn't just condense things. If it runs out of spawning room, it just doesn't spawn them. I right, want well, that's all those breaches. One's a tier ten. This will be a little bit more interesting. Increase quant. Uh, why doesn't this increase the modifier tier? I don't understand how this was supposed to work. Because this is plus one a modifier tier, but it doesn't change the modifier tier. But whatever, reduced pack size doesn't matter when it's only strongest monster. I replace it with gemlings, actually, because the only thing that matters is the gemling leader, anyways. I should have put domination or something on the map. Now things actually take one or more seconds to kill. Tragedy. Doom, Doom Shrine, Doom Shrine, can I get more? No, not really. I think I can get more stuff before it closed. Go. Back. Or, uh, Vegan. Not remove it. Mention progress that. Okay. I'm gonna hate Syndicate after this leak. <laughs> well, I mean, I do Syndicate every league, so I probably won't hate it. Especially because, like, when you actually, like, have an implicit understanding of Syndicate, it starts to feel really easy to you. Until you understand Syndicate, like, fully, it's the most obtuse, annoying piece of shit. But once you fully understand it, it becomes pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, 
Uh, Leo loses all ranks. Do I care about Leo? What is Leo doing? He's hoarding. Hoarding? Let you become rivals. Take you. Give you another relationship. I don't need laws, really. One-handed weapons don't really... How? about that? Demlings? Maybe that was an exile. At this point, I don't know or care. Those are demlings. We're only dropping like one, one ish jewel per, which is surprising. With an extra 1600 quantity. Whoa, zoom. Elrion. I go. I didn't go. Out. Actually, go out. Dump all of my stuff. None of those are right. Not right. There's one that's worth far too much this like far more this league than I than you would expect. Usually it's Elrion. Usually Elrion's really valuable, but it's not Elrion. There's one that starts with a K, I'm pretty sure. Think of it. Not Guff, it's not Chimeria, not Elrion, not Barichi. It's Corel. It's Mr. Paint Shop. I don't know how I could possibly have forgotten Mr. Paint Shop. Alright, this must be lost from up here. Go to the boss first. Oh, this is where the last sulfide vein is. Okay. Gravekeeper's boon. And smash everything. Next, immediately go to it before I lose too much of my gravekeepers. Oh, my gravekeepers over. Whatever. Not that big a deal. 
trying to maximize all my buffs while I have them. It also means I shouldn't be picking things up, but that big a deal. A dendro bait. Don't need. Dendro bait actually looks like a really good poison chest plate until you look at everything else and realize it's not. I've tried using it before, but I've also never gotten a poison build to actually properly work. I don't know why. I always struggled with it. Because Dendrobate is a poison. Okay, do that safe house. The basic safe houses, if they haven't been unveiled, like if you don't know who the leader is, there are going to be 10 mastermind experience per, per turn, so there'll be 30 total. That's enough. I can get do one more unveiled one and a tier two or three. I think in that should be. I would need more than that. I promise you can't get mastermind experience uh increased via the uh the syndicate uh scarabs. I guess I should technically call them by, like, their real name. The Betrayal Scarabs. They're from Betrayal League. Which, and Betrayal is a mechanic. I mean, like, mechanic, you can either make something trusted, uh, you can betray someone. Um, as, like, the two different relationships you can create between... Not rogues. Heist. Uh, between, uh, assassins. And I'll be honest. I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> they just both seem to help with making sure more rogues spawn, so I'm like, sure, go with that. Ogre Vicious, let's get some chest plates from him, because they seem to sell for 4 5 C. Kind of nice. Oh. I'll feel you're lagging behind. Yep, yeah, that'll sell for about 4C. Aku Strongbox. I have too big of an AoE for this. Rapstash. Technically, the Scarab Ascension is worth more, even though the uh, Scarab of Splintering or whatever it is that gives you more splinters looks cooler. Like it, like it looks like a winged Scarab from the system of having winged Scarabs. It's not actually, not actually better. The Scarabs of Splintering are one quarter of a Chaos each, and the Scarabs of Ascension are four? No, nope, they're one Chaos each. Never mind. They both suck. Oh, Aspect of the Avian on a Quiver. That actually is not bad. Might use that. Or not use that. I might sell that for something. How much aspect of the avian? Huh? This quiver. Max life. 
It's all over the place. Tier 1 physical. I'm saying this is worth at least 49. Bad. Nice little pickup. These are... Oh, it's the organs. That's the... Uh, summon Spectra Wolves on, wolf on Kill. That's just... Wow, that's an intensely good... Intelligence Amulet. That's 104 intelligence. Once you upgrade, once you. Yeah, whatever it's called, the implicit. Wow, something for. So 100 intelligence goes starting for at 14, see? If I add the. Element resistances, it goes up to 2 div. And if I actually factor in the fact that it's veiled, there's nothing like it. I've got a veiled prefix, so it most likely will be uh, increased area damage, slash, area damage slash area effect, melee damage slash melee strike, or. Oh, actually, yeah, there's an opening for the life and mana, or the flat life plus mana per second, too. This could actually become a lot of very good. Oh, not that one. Oh, wow, it immediately up there, okay. Honestly, if we could, uh, do I have any? No, I don't have any. You add intrinsics to this, you would be able to bring it up to 100, 124, 125 intelligence. How much is 125 intelligence? 220. How much is 120 intelligence? Oh. 120 intelligence, like 3 div. Okay, so that is going to be very valuable. Honestly, I'm gonna start a five div. Probably work. Because like you'll build like this is one of the very few ones on the market where you can unveil exactly what you want. So that makes it pretty freaking good. There are very, very, very few veiled things on the market right now. Um with those stats. Move my lights a little bit. There we go. My light, one of my lights has been like pointing at my eyes for a while. And by while, I mean like several months. And I just haven't done anything about that. And I just realized I could just slightly move it and it's fixed. And now it's fixed. It's amazing what. Sl like, slight things can matter. <laughs> I have here actually interesting things. A huge... Breach rings get rerolled with five, I think. Yep, five. Oh yeah, that's almost a max roll of life. Life. This is like very high strength. This is a tier one strength and a tier two life together on a break. Ring. That might actually be worth like beat up. But I could re-roll it and see if I can get something even cool. Gamble! That is not cool. <laughs> that is, in fact, worthless.
Do I have room to put these in their spot now? No, I don't. Okay, I need to use up more embers. <laughs> okay, well, let's do some tier 14. I guess I have a lot of 16. Running around. Dabra. I should really use fry, like some scarabs, because look at how many fucking scarabs I have. Uh, or I will extra the strong boxes. More likely to be rare or very. Uh, Where I'll do Maven and where is ambush? Okay, that'll this will be fifteen extra strong boxes. Purpose of binding that is not incredibly useful. That's not incredibly useful at all. Capacity. <laughs> Ooh, noble haunted or magistrate haunted. That gives a very high chance of corpses and embers. I don't really need orbs of binding, so it doesn't really matter where they. That's more pack size on. I think I actually am going to playing on, even if it's just on the normal side. Normal. Wait. Sure. So what's what? Do, I'll I'll give these chance to freeze things. I can't be froze. Also, question for everyone. Have all dressed Pringles existed for a long time and I just have not known about it? Because I just found out about all dressed Pringles today. And I'm very happy. I love all dressed chips in general, regardless what brand they are, really. Actually, that's not true. I like each brand for different reasons. So it's not irregardless of each brand, it's actually that I like each brand for a lot of different reasons. So good. So I think All Dressed actually is like primarily in certain areas. It might actually be a Canadian thing specifically. Not 100% sure. That gave me a triple corpse. Wow. Okay, well, I want you to go to the Necropolis. Can't rank you up. Okay, well, I have another safe house coming up. Gained gems have experience, only contain support gems. Oh gosh, that is a, uh... It's the map boss right there. Oh, er. Revive with Onslaught is scary when it's surrounded by, like, dangerous things. Oh, that's Glace. E? The real beach. Relentless Shade from... Grave Trough, I think? Not that way. Oh, 
Okay. Aku to research. Rank up Guff. Okay, so I can get a maximum 36. That would go. Not enough to max research. You know what? I'm going to do it anyways. So I'm going to finish uh, Intervention, and then I'll have a research safe house in like one map after. Oh, what is that? Or mud fiend of the flood. I don't even know what the heck that is. Raja bones. Maze. Some of the annoying fucking bad ones. Oh my gosh. How fast can I go? <laughs> this is how fast I can go <laughs> with my actual with my uh, my flask on. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, I'll stop fucking around and actually kill things. Boss. Oh my gosh. Something there lagged me out. Okay, that's the drought boss. And the boss. Oh, that's Chevron. You know what? I'm happy that I killed Chevron quickly because she is a pain in the ass. She gets going. Just like in real money where it's expensive to be poor, it's more dangerous to be to have low DPS in this game. Like you're so much safer when you have higher DPS because you can just kill so much stuff before you even have to deal with their mechanics at all. Because you just erase their mechanics. Of course, I guess that is just saying it's better to be stronger than not stronger. Playing, uh, I care who... I don't want Jonas to be leader because Jonas is not far yet. You know what? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrogate Elrion. Let Free to become leader. And be honest. You and why are you upset with me? Powering ancient. Some of these bosses I just have no fucking clue who they are. So part of that is because they changed the names of the bosses. So like Chevron is I don't even remember what what that what she was named there. Usually they get named something different, which is honestly. That probably shouldn't have Out of space. Okay, mace. And melee weapons don't tend to. Back after I. Uh, don't teleport. Don't ambush. Stop using ambush. It makes it so hard to understand what's going on and to block things. Not block things, so like avoid. Oh my gosh, my first tier 17 map. Look at this. Modify only with chaos orbs, okay? Unique. Bosses are best. Ninety percent reduced effective uh cursor. Uh. Players and their minions deal no damage for four order every ten seconds. Unique monsters have a random shrine buff. Oh god. Okay, well, the the curse, the reduction of auras destroys me. 
thing as I have for Auras. Ooh. That's... That actually might be doable, but I really don't want to have Aura Reduction. Rare Monsters of Volatile Cores, that's okay. Heal Charges, that's okay. Well, I could actually do this one, I think. Yeah, I think that's doable. It's just rough. Okay, cool. I can't wait to do a Tier 17. I was under the impression that, that the they the tier seventeens were like special places to find specific bosses though. I don't really know what's going on there. Oh I'm okay, I'm complete. I need to go back to town. Back of armor. Okay. Gratis. Sections. I have... Tai Chi gratis? I, no, I only... I have three of each family. I don't have my, my fourth. And you need four of each. Unless I've been horribly mis misinformed. I just, I'm not making ground with my embers right now. I just need to use them more often, I think, is it. I'm, like, looking for this for the best possible time to use them, and I think that's the wrong one. Most of them are only worth, like, a couple C as well, so, like, I should just be using them. I wish the ember locker wasn't so small, though. Like, it's obscenely small. But I guess it's probably better for it to be small, because then that forces me to actually deal with it, rather than just leaving them there forever. Not using them. I do definitely get the, uh, but what if I need this later kind of feel sometimes with items. I know a lot of people get that. But, yeah, that's for Slotha right now. And that of the cell or not valuable. Remember of the abyss. I have stuff to do? Yeah. So, so many embers. I really need to deal with that problem. Okay, uh, intervention. Actually, if I if the next map I do, I use the boosted intelligence. Uh, the boosted intelligence uh, scarab. I might be able to get a safe house immediately. Actually, mathematically, I'm pretty sure I can get a safe house immediately. I just to make sure that the 
person that I'm getting the safe house from is actually like ranked up enough, otherwise I'm going to be kind of a waste. I prefer not to do four safe houses, four safe houses before I get Katarina. So now that I'm doing a second unknown one, that probably means that I'm going to have to do more. Because each unknown one only gives you 30, and I need 100 total. How do you get her rank? I can't. I can't remember. I think maybe ranked ones are like six, twelve, eighteen, or something per turn. In that case, a rank three would be enough. I I don't remember. Weird for me. Usually, I have like all those syndicate shit memorized. Not, not really coming to me right now. Yum. about the herd. I do want to make an entire passive tree that is just for Ironheart. Ironheart has a lot of very valuable things. I need to actually counter them. I've been avoiding Einhar because I don't have buffs to him. So that just not as good. Park. I'll go to the park. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna ensure that we have June intelligence one, and hopefully that'll be enough. Anything else I really want? I'll take inversion monsters. And probably domination. Prime. Okay, that's another magistrate haunted. That's good. Okay, so I mean, all that's going to do is give me. This really is uh this is why I don't want to use my necropolis stuff because it just feels like it's it's pointless on maps that just have no no devoted modifiers. I can't research. This one's a valuable one. Oh, we're about fifteen. I don't have very good points. Let's just pick random sulfite gold, I guess. Random Templar. Maybe that's a terrible plan on the Magistrate Haunted. Uh, let's not do that. Don't really want to torture myself. I'll put it up here. High spawning. Okay, I'm gonna go do laboratory. Need to check which 
which uh, safe house it or which like department it is that I need to power up, like rank up to three. Or I make any decisions in this. Honest. Who is about to search? I'm going to get out to 95. Maybe the boosted research is only things that I set up in this map. Because the other ones seem to be the same amount of research per turn as they were before. I don't really want to kick out anyone from this list, so I'm going to have to release them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's going on, Pug? Gonna have to see the Pug, unfortunately. One second. I hate pausing during streams, but I gotta do it. Okay, she has her kibble and her water taken care of now. How do you get back into this? About to. They're both kind of close to. Okay. Where's it? Nowhere yet. Okay, that's fine. I think I saw something up here early. Oh yeah, there's a shrine up here. It's always good to go pick up the shrines, see them. Get the uh I have two I get two shrines, shrine buffs per shrine, so there's always the chance that you'll pick it up and you'll get a covetous shrine for quant. Penetrable Shrine. East Shrine. So many lesser shrines. This one's a greater shrine. That's a greater massive. Yeah, I'm next to unkillable with a massive shrine. Actually, having an extra thousand life really matters when you're already tanky. Okay, I got a tainted uh, currency ember. That gravekeeper's boon. Strong box immediately while well, I have the Gravekeeper's Boon still. 
Before I lose it. Ow. That spell did not get suppressed. Almost killed me. A full sh huh? I hope the minor shrine can't replace a major. Doesn't look like. Grab these before. Here. Fortification. Fortification only. No, fortification needs a lot. Prevention needs a lot. Yeah, I'll give a lot to fortification. Okay, so that explains why... Okay. So, if you get a bonus on things that you set up in that map, not on the stuff that's already imprisoned, then I'm going to have to use the scarabs differently, and it also explains why the scarabs are so cheap. Because they require a lot more work to set up. Get working the way You don't always know whether you're going to get something decent or not in a map. What it means, though, probably is that your second June map probably is going to be your best bet after the full board wipe of Katarina. Because you've already set up a little bit in your first map, and then second, third, maybe fourth, you can get some bonuses. Did I finish park? I finished park already. What am I doing? Okay. How are we doing? Hope to get sixty. Okay, so fifty one more. The next map won't give us a Katarina, so we can do whatever level we want. It'll give us a safe house below Katarina. Enfeeble and spell suppression at the same time would be really rough. Before I said anything, how good is this? Not very good at all. Yeah, no, I'm going to paste this one. 
try this one. Okay, this one's better. Not very good, but it's better. It's honestly pretty ass. <laughs> I'm going to reset it. I want to get some good ones so we can actually go ahead with decent... We can actually use our embers properly. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run to the end, smash the boss, and not do anything else. Then I'm not completely wasting it. I'm just wasting most of it. Oh, this is a different map than I expected. What's going on? Oh. I'm attacking for some reason. Alice. Crank up Torah to max. I wanted to kill the boss specifically for the uh ten exper ten progress to a safe house thing. And that's it. Okay, it didn't hit any of the progress to Okay. Uh, I need a map. He's something better this time. Final pack spawns the Nameless Seer on death. Okay, that we have to do. We absolutely have to do that. Um... Okay. Uh huh. I'm a bit at a loss what I should be doing. Um Okay, I need to put something in this. I guess I'll put the pack monster drop catalyst. Fire T plus pack size like that. Dump something, I'll just I'll dump the tank. Oh, I should have closed it and uh, picked domination. I picked uh, quant before mapcraft. I was still just checking what it was. I guess I should pick what I want and then go back if it's not what I want. Go back and change the mapcraft if not the map. Thankfully, this is a very easy map to full clear. I thought I have to full clear, but I have to find every one of the ghost packs. But I can get the Nameless Seer. The Nameless Seer will just give you one free unique item of any of the unique items in the game, as far as I know. So, it's like super, super valuable, potentially. Okay, fortification. That would instant six. That would be enough fortification. Not be enough to control. But not be enough fortification. What finished fortification? Okay, I don't think I'll be able to finish it this run through though. I think I'm gonna have to do it. I don't think it'll have enough time. 
that. Who is over there? I don't like who are you. I don't know what the heck that was. Intervention, yeah, sure. I don't need blight scarabs. Or uh sure, you can connect. 98, 98, 99. Okay, someone is going to reach their safe house now. It's gotta happen. And we're also really set up now for the, uh, for the Katarina after this. Because we're only gonna need one of those safe houses, and the next two we can just hit pretty much immediately. Okay, Guff is up here. Item on. Don't want. I don't want to hit the safe house yet. I want Giannis up. Oh yeah, I want him to be high because he's. I've got Calgarin. And then I'll have him drop him. Yeah, not worth it. So I have one safe house ready now. I think that one will be enough that I don't need to worry too much. Oh, another scarab. I think that'll be enough mastermind experience. Then I'll be able to hit two safe houses. Be able to do one map after Katarina, then hit two safe houses immediately. So that's looking pretty good. Imagine if I get a uh, imagine if I get a Veiled Chaos from both of them. That would be an extra 32 div. If it's possible, I would love to get one of like the crazy chase items in this league besides a Headhunter. Because Headhunter was really cheap and that was great, but we don't have any other it kind of killed the, like one of the biggest chase items, and now I'm kind of wondering if it'd be possible for me to buy an original sin, perhaps. I think those are like 500 div or something. I don't know if I'll be able to get the currency together for that, since that's pretty pretty high bar. But I don't know. It's it's an idea. Shooting at me. Stop it. I don't see. Actually, it seems like it's just not. Like, I tell it to attack and just stops attacking. I wonder if that's lag. That would make some sense. Possible. I've dropped zero frames throughout this three-hour stream. Which is amazing. Tainted armor scrap. Very excited for the nameless seer. Oh, there it is. Speak of the seer. Okay, so we have the Nameless Seer now. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Ha 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 ha. Uh... Vulcanus. 
think Vulcan is a valuable. Well, the Brotherhood tends to be decent. 4 or 5 C, Oscarum. Good, but actually almost max rolled accuracy. And it max rolled spell suppression. Oh, it's perfectly rolled the Chaos Res as well. I would have Grace Fire. It ended up okay. okay. I go for Oscarum, essentially. Ended up quite as well. Okay, according to this, there's the only one that is as good as this is 2 div. I don't know if it'll sell for that. This is only going to sell for 5 C, so I'm just going to take the. Just going to say, I'm going to go for the Oscar. But it has. How many perfect stats on it? Well, su suppression's perfect. The Chaos Res is perfect. The. Global accuracy and life are almost perfect. So it has two perfects and two almost perfect. That's really, really good. <laughs> well, we'll see. People, people have a lot of money this league, so they'll be buying perfect stuff a lot more. Proficious. Fuck. Ducks failed. That's a pretty higher chaos res. Ah, oh, fractured movement speed, but it's it's ten percent movement speed. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Not good at all. Actually, people will probably be buying perfect gear to corrupt it, honestly, to try to get good implicits, especially with gloves. Since gloves have some of the best implicits out there. Okay. Oh, we have two safe houses ready now. Okay, who are we going to hit first? Testing item links. Okay, if I wait for Katarina, that will be better. That'll be a tier 4 instead of a tier uh, scarabs, I'll take less scarabs. Because the, uh, when you go with Katarina, she gives you the bonuses of everyone from all of the safe houses that exist, but it's plus one tier. So it's as if you did all the safe houses at once, basically, as a, as a secondary reward. Katarina drops herself. And to the XP of just doing Katarina area. Alright, 23% XP already. The highest I think I've naturally leveled in this game without like any XP boosts from, like, without any XP services, is 95, which is where I'm at right now. So, if I can level to 96, i be pretty stoked. I mean, we'll have to see how it goes, but... I'm considering natural leveling anything where, like, I have to do the majority of the work. So, like, if I were to run a Breachstone on my own... Or if I were to run a Breachstone and, like, bring someone with me who is not as powerful as my, as my character, I would consider that to be, like, natural leveling. Someone does more... If someone does the majority of the work over me, then I don't do it naturally. So, I mean, I don't mind paying for stuff, and honestly, I do usually, but I do kind of like to see how far... 
I can easily go. Not easily go, but like reasonably go before I get like a pretty notable goal. 16. 8, that'll be enough. Okay, so, one more map. The next map has to be tier 16, and that will give us Katarina. Big War Horde. don't know the scares well enough to know which one is valuable, but I think this one might Damn it. 1C. I mean, all of them might have been 1C or less, but... I, I think I I think I picked the best I could. But I do wish I knew the scarabs better by, by sight. Okay, so, we are going to save the Tier 17 map for next stream on Thursday. Uh, the next map we are going to do will be a June map, and it will finish off our Katarina. And we will do Katarina, and Katarina will be the culmination of the stream. Absorbs and stilling. I guess devoted or devoted things can't. This isn't raising the value of it. That this maybe the plus one mo the plus two modifier doesn't seem to work most of the time. I don't understand why. Does not make sense to me. Okay, if I put the life one up here, it's most likely to give me. Anyways. Okay, who can I expend? I will. Oh, that's the special one. I'm going to expend. Yeah, okay. No, I'm just going to expend this one because it's high density. That will give me some... That'll give me some... Oh gosh. Splinters. Templar Splinters. Okay, good. We did get June. I'm a bit worried that we might not, but... We... Okay, so we just need to three encounters. They don't have to, like, really achieve anything. They have to be completed so that the board can progress three times, which will give us mind. Get all the rares I can to steal all their abilities. Okay, Guff, search, Leo, I'm not doing anything with you. I don't want, I don't want to search the resource safe house ready yet. I want that to be after the mastermind. I don't think it like gets rid of the safe house or anything, but I think it does take away from the, the knowledge or something. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I don't totally understand how the system works. I'd rather have...
Okay, so we do a transportation or a fortification, and that will give us our mastermind. Okay, let's back up a bit, a bit dicey. Getting like excessively busy here because it keeps resurrecting all the dead people and it keeps increasing the dead people. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Sulfite vein. Fast. I'm using like one ish ember, one one to like a little bit less than one ember per per map, and I'm getting at least one ember per map, which means that I'm just, like, gaining a net positive of embers, and that's not useful for clearing my embers. Well, I should probably be using them more than I am. I need to be l even less stingy. I'll increase the rank of... Re Fortification's basically not doing anything anyways. That's uh, increased fortification. I want to do that. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to decrease research, because that's going to knock Vagan out of here, and it's going to put Hillock in as a tier 2, uh, a rank 2 uh, leader. Right? I didn't expect that. Oh, but it gives me div cards. Okay, I'm, I'm not upset anyway. <laughs> Transportation. Sure. Here. Whatever you want. Just want to see my mastermind. I want to see my lovely. My love again. Cut. My. I guess she's kind of my sugar mommy, seeing as she has funded almost everything I've done this league. Like, that's no joke. Basically, everything I've done this league has been from me running Katarina. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what else to call it besides that. Yum. <laughs> No, it dropped a scarab, I don't care. Okay. Um. Are you ghoul? Ghoul? Go away, child, you ghouls. Back normal, you ghoul. And go away again. And oh god, things are getting dropped on me. God damn it, Maven. Please tell me I place down a portal and it's not just going to bring me to the very start of the map. That would be very frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Damn it. Uh, why it's good to keep the habit of placing portals down. I don't think you need them. Oh, thank gosh. Give me, give me frenzy charges. Now I can zoom for a while. Well, at least I get to have another shrine body other shit. Oh, 
Oh, it's a covetous shrine too. That's actually really good. And it won't expire before I kill you, Google. So I'll get want on you, Google. A nice map or something. That'd be good. Or you could not. That's that was the other option. Okay, Katarina. I'm not going to say it's like exceedingly easy to get to Katarina or anything, but I'm really happy with how really happy with how well I seem to have gotten the line set up to get Katarina. Because if I can theoretically spawn a Katarina every three hours of gameplay, then we're we're talking like five we're talking about five div an hour just on Katarina. Oh actually no that assumes that I get the veiled chaos and you don't always get a veiled chaos. Just seem to get it often. Or I am obscenely lucky, one of the two. But I wouldn't put it past the game has just like blessed me for some reason. I mean, some leagues get lucky. Some... But if it is this reliable, it might be reasonable to get some of like the 100 plus div items. We'll see. I'd love to be able to get something crazy. Especially because, like, a lot of, like, there are all those few chase uniques that I do not have and never have gotten the chance to have, and this might be an easy league to get them for me. And I can fill those spots in my, my unique stash tab instead. Working on completing my collection. Put a portal down this time. <laughs> the zombies came in from outside. <laughs> that feels silly. Oh, it's the bottom one this time. I think they just, like, random... Random leaders. Just... Like, they just pop up in random order. I don't think there is an order. The more times I do it, it just really does not feel like it. Yes. I still have zombies with Have her? Okay, one more. Where are we going to go play Capture the Flag?
Did the song just say lick my heart? That's not sanitary. Probably didn't say that, but it certainly sounded like it did. Can you not call Katarina? Or was is 10% just a lot lower than I realized? Chaos build, chaos build, chaos build, chaos, come on, come on! Yes! We made 32 div the stream! No, we made 34 div because of the well the abandoned wealth. <laughs> That's that. I don't know if that was the best. Corral. Corral a helmet. For some reason, these are valuable. Stack decks? Oh yeah, we're still gonna open our stack decks at the end. Alright. The extra damage map. Okay. Chinese trial. I'll probably do Chinese trial later off stream. I seriously doubt it's going to give me anything interesting. Double oh, crypto number. I think we'll take side quests. Scouting reports can be really. So maybe three rock chaos would have been. Rock currency is probably better, I guess. But... Okay, that's the socket one. Oh, we got two of the socket one. Okay, I will show you that though. We're gonna we're gonna try to link the sockets for the stick. The Katarina stick, whatever it's called. Oh, I'm inventory store. Pricing. Oh, still don't have enough room for my embers. Oh, oh well. Oh, we got 35 div if you include the uh, forbidden flesh that we got here, too. Sorry about that. Okay, we need the stick. We need the Katarina stick. And a Kulamak, that's what it's called. Nope. And come on, six link, six link, six link! No, that's even worse. Oh wait, I have to go actually pick up the scarabs. <laughs> okay, and that's everything except for Tiny's Trial, which I'll worry about later. Wow, well, this was a obscenely, obscenely valuable stream, I have to say. We got so much from this stream. I am so, so happy that luck has smiled upon me in such a way. Well, I mean, okay. A portion of it is luck, a portion of it is the fact that I've 
managed to force out two Katarinas this stream. But, like, I could also have gotten no veiled orbs on either of those, so. Mm hmm. Went pretty well. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, reminder for anyone who has missed it, I will be, I've dropped down to three, ideally three videos a week on the Highlight channel, and I have two videos a week coming out on the, uh, VOD channel. We'll be seeing VODs coming out on either Thursday, Friday, or Wednesday, did I write 12? Oh god, no. 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 No, I wrote 12 accidentally. Okay, no, nope, going in D&D. All those fucking bots are going to message me now. Uh, yeah, so this VOD should hopefully be up tomorrow. Uh, anything else? No, I think, no, I think that's, that's about it. Okay, we are going to reconvene on Thursday at 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST. For those who are on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out at Black Cat Streams for the VODs, at Black Cat Studio for the highlights, and follow on Twitch. Thank you so much.